What's up, y'all? So let me try this again. We're going to go through some comments. This is on how to improve memory as a trucker. Angela3347 says, 100% of my husband insists on pressing numbers instead of memory dial. He also makes it a priority. He has also made it a priority over the years to remember his license number, plate number, anything else that he can. I'll have to whip a card out. He even has his entire debt card number memorized, not just the pin. Incidentally, he's a truck driver too and tries to remember the same things as you do. Thanks for chiming in, Angela. Good for your husband, because a lot of us uh, just ain't paid attention to it. It's gonna slip out of our hands, out of our head, out of our memory. Uh, this is on identify leaks. Don't annoy your brake chamber. Awesome, you carry an extra one, but as a driver, don't touch your brake chambers <laughs> or adjust your brakes. You aren't qualified. 310 Tech, 310T Tech, and truckers are already dangerous enough. <laughs> and if you are 310T Tech, you'd understand. You don't want to do a replacement roadside, as it's a bitch to lift a fully loaded rig to remove an entire hub seal. Yeah, you did have a jacket. Uh, not to mention having the tools in the shop, air to cage to cage, the shop air to cage them, which decreases work time. Please stop spreading misinformation, empowering others to do things they aren't qualified to do or understand is dangerous. That long stroke chamber you have should be compatible with the, with the trailer, but as with everything these days, you can't make any sort of assumption based on what you see or know. On the ops, leave the repairs to the professionals. Saving 2000 on your driveway and your driveway on a reset layover isn't worth the time or money you'll spend fighting to keep your CDLs and pay any amassed fines or worse yet, the multitude of charges that could come. I should have let Adam re read this. That will come from forgetting steps have a wheel come off at highway speed because they didn't have a torque wrench capable of 600 pounds to secure the wheels after doing a roadside brake channel replacement, for example. Stay safe and keep thinking ahead. Herbie, hey, hey. I think you meant hey, chamber. I appreciate that. I gotta turn this brightness up on this phone. Lane 1335, lane 1335. Hey, I appreciate that long, well thought out comment and safety oriented comment. Now I'm not talking about doing the job myself. I just want to have the brake chamber in case it's too late to get one or the mechanic can't wear one or the shop is too far away, which means uh, waiting another day or all day to get the part. I got the part. So that's why I be saying have parts with you. I didn't get out there. I'm not going out there. That's why I call him. Makes sense. But I appreciate you taking the time to comment. And uh, I think you're right. That's why I be letting, I be letting guy, uh, I be letting the mechanics do most of the stuff. Like, mm, some things I mess with, like the like the batteries. But I, I'm not messing with the brake chamber. I done tried enough different things to realize that. It was just like truck driving. People say, think it's simple and it's nothing to a holy steering wheel. When they don't realize all the other stuff that goes along with it. So I understand that. That's why some things, most things I don't mess with. I'll change it. I don't even, like I'm not even going to change that line where you got to take off them other parts. Man, I ain't messing with that. Too many things can go wrong in the middle of it. One thing lead to another, lead to another. Yeah, I'm good. I can do something else. If you feel uncomfortable trucking, oh, wait a minute. This other guy say, this guy's the black Andrew Tate. <laughs> Matthew Anderson, 8285. All right, Matthew. Thanks for chiming in, man. Uh, if you feel comfortable trucking, these messages are on this video. This is Derek Kelly, 4517. Thinking about getting into trucking myself, but it seems overwhelming, all the logistics. Hey, bro. Don't forget, I mean, forget about it, man. It, it's always seem like that because it's a, anytime, anytime you're going to go tackle something new, 
it's a normal function of the body to feel somewhat apprehensive. And if you didn't have those feelings, there would be something wrong with your frontal lobe. And that's just your body trying to keep you safe. But you're going to have to override that because it's really not that serious. Uh, it seems overwhelming. And especially when you get to my videos, it's like some of the stuff take it with a grain of salt. I'm just hitting you with the information so that when you encounter certain things firsthand, it, it immediately registers. You by no means have to remember a lot of the different facets uh, relevant to trucking. And like the main thing is like you're here at a channel like this where you're gonna come across certain information. So this is gonna be in your mind already. It's, it's, now, on, it's now a part of your programming. So just that alone is going to help you do better. Just let me know if you want me to take choices. over. You're getting Ask a little long-winded, Hervey. Think outside of the normal box as a person who not taking the time to research and familiarize themselves with the trucking community. So you, you're good, man. Just the fact that you're here and you watch that type of video and uh, comment tells me you're good. You have what it takes, you know. Uh, I take a long time to respond to these comments on. Okay, anyway, fake spotting fake loads on the deck board. Hi, do you do one to one consultation? Oh, her 19167. Yes, I I'll put a link in response to your comment and also look in the description of that video. Spot fake load. On. I guess you want a low board training or something, but anyway, just. Anyway, just do y'all hear that air? Anyway, just fill out that form. Bought a truck out of state. What's required to drive it home? You just put paper in the window that says not for hire and have physical damage insurance. I bought a truck from Dallas to Ohio last week. That's from Jerry Drake Drake 00796. Thanks for chiming in and offering your experience. I concur as a matter of fact. Trucker had a dead battery. I had the power. 1G soldier. Did like that. Fat gadget G soldier. Thanks for coming through. Mobile barber. This is old. Five, five months. I'm gonna have to put this window up, man. Mosquitoes be out here. So that's that's the latest comments. So this I haven't responded that I haven't responded to yet. Uh, we're gonna leave it there because we don't want to be here too long. It's almost eight minutes and a half. But hey, I, I appreciate all y'all coming through, watching these videos, and commenting on these videos, and liking and subscribing. And if there are certain types of videos, can't guarantee. If there are certain type of, types of videos you want me to do, let me know. And especially if enough people are saying the same thing, obviously I'm gonna do that video. But um, if it seems interesting enough and there's something that a lot of people might want to see, then I'll do that video. So just put it up there, put it out there, let me know. And, and if you do want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation, like I told this person, there will be a link in the description to be able to do that. All right, appreciate it.